I like to say it was like a fighting ring. <laughs> I didn't really know a lot about ants. Like at first you think about, oh, there's just ants everywhere. They move around, they get food, whatever. But then actually sitting down and observing them for a while, it sounds boring, but doing it for a while, you're like, oh, they're actually really interesting. Hi, I'm Julia Pandeleon. I'm a psych major with a neuroscience concentration on the pre-med track, and I'm a sophomore. I worked with ants in the psych department. And what we looked at was two ant species. There's not a lot of research, but we do know that one of them was a social parasite of the other ant, which means that a queen of that ant species will find a colony of the other ants and like take over. We did two tests, and one was the independent behavior, and that was going out in the bioreserve, and then looking at different ant colonies. And then the second set of tests, taking an ant from colony A, an ant from colony B, putting them in a little petri dish, and then seeing how they interacted. And we're specifically looking at antenation, which is observing their environment through their antennae. And then also seeing like aggression, which is fighting, biting, or rearing up. Like sitting in the lab and like watching them, they would show aggressive behaviors. And one of them was like rearing, which was like getting up on their hind legs and looking bigger. And then I showed my professor, and she's like, oh, I had no idea they would do that. What do you want to call that behavior? So then that's what we called it rearing. So now we're looking at the brains. They're so small, <laughs> but you're able to look at them through like the naked eye. I like to say that there's the size of half a grain of rice. Like a good solid week, I was just like in the lab for like eight hours in a day. And it became very like ritualistic of like, grab an ant, grab an ant, put it in the dish, record, let's sit and then watch and take tallies.